Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. You are watching Diversity in Animal Kingdom Part 3. In Part 2, we have completed the classification that is uh, the subphylum, vertebrata, its general characters. The subphylum vertebrata is divided into two divisions that is Aneta and uh, Nathostomata. Aneta include jawless vertebrates, Nathostomata jawed vertebrates. The division Aneta is divided into two classes. What are they? Astrocodermi and Cyclostomata. Astrocodermi includes the extinct uh, animals like uh, Hemicyclapsis and Cyclostomata include uh, the Petromyzone, Hackfish. Next, uh, Nathostomata jawed vertebrates divide into two super classes. They are Pisces and uh, Tetrapoda. The Pisces, they are true fishes, whereas Tetrapoda is a typically four limbed vertebrates are included in the Tetrapoda. We also completed the Pisces. The general characteristics. The class superclass fishes is divided into classes, three classes: Placodermi, Chondrichthys, and Osteichthys. Placodermi again, all fossils are included. Climatius is an example, whereas uh, the class Chondrichthys include uh, cartilaginous fishes. These are uh, their notochord is well developed, persistent throughout life, mouth on ventral side, teeth are modified, placoid scales are present. These uh, teeth are modified placoid scales, heart is two chambered, ureotelic animals, chondrichthys, cartilaginous fishes are ureotelic. Okay. And the sexes are separate, males usually have claspers for copulation. Sharks are included in the contractus, Coleodon and uh, Sperna. And Rays, Trigon are included. So these contractus uh, possess uh, uncovered gills and gill slits are five pairs. Some are uh, predaceous, means predators. Example, Torpedo and Trigon. Their, their habitat is the bottom of the sea. Then Osteichthys. Osteichthys, uh, these are uh, marine as well as freshwater bony fishes they are. Uh, four pairs of uh, filamentous gills uh, covered by operculum. Operculum is present. The presence of air bladder that regulates buoyancy. The heart is three chambered, mesonephric kidneys, mostly ureotelic animals the fertilization is external example labio cartla clarias okay so after fishes we have completed then the tetrapoda is divided into four classes amphibia reptilia aves and mammalia so today we are going to discuss about them okay are you ready children let us proceed amphibians what are amphibians? Amphibians are cold-blooded vertebrates which can live on land and in water. The amphibians show four limbs which they can swim in water and jump or hop on the land. But uh, in um, order Apoda Apoda is one of the order of amphibians, limbs are absent. In amphibians, 
general characters we are discussing in amphibians animals the amphibious animals ex ex exoskeleton is absent but in apoda small cycloid scales are present okay most of the in amphibian animals exoskeleton is absent but in apoda animals small cycloid scales are present okay so this amphibians include frogs and uh, toads salamanders next uh, in amphibians the adult animals lungs are present gills are absent but in some urodilans another order urodilans the gills are present they respire through skin in water and through lungs on land okay in amphibians the body divisible into head trunk and tail is present in urodilans urodila is order of uh, amphibia they are also called tailed amphibians okay head and trunk the total body is divided into only two main parts head and trunk but in urodilans head trunk and uh, tail is present in amphibians the digestive system is well developed uh, a well developed liver is also present okay tailed amphibian salamanders newet these are urodilans next external ears is absent external ear is absent the middle and inner ears are present the middle ear columella aris it is a special feature of amphibians in the middle ear columella aris is present the sexes are separate they reproduce by laying eggs oviparous in nature the amphibians heart is three chambered there are examples of the amphibians frogs toads salamanders rachophorus the flying frog hyla tree frog ichthyophis limbless amphibian so these are all uh, examples salamanders okay and uh, the ichthyophis limbless amphibian looks like snake okay next uh, class reptiles reptiles are cold blooded so before going to reptiles once again let us uh, recall about amphibians the amphibians are the first terrestrial organisms means first landed organisms and or uh, pycolothermic cold blooded okay or ectothermic the body divided into head and uh, trunk respiration occurs by gills lungs lining of buccopharyngeal cavity and skin either separately or in combination tympanum it is very important this point also you have to add tympanum represent the ear the tail fin homo circle and amenotelic animals excretion okay exoskeleton with uh, cycloid or tenoid scales so adult amphibians are ureotelic but larval stages they are amenotelic okay now come to reptiles reptiles are uh, they are also called creeping and crawling animals okay they show which type of movement uh, creeping and uh, crawling movement reptiles are uh, pycolothermic same like amphibians exothermal or cold blooded animals the body covered by dry cornified scales and lack glands skin is very rough scaly 
the body skeleton well developed digestive system also well developed respiration through lungs in turtles through cloacal respiration also seen the heart is three chambered except in crocodiles crocodiles they have four chambered heart okay reptiles are cold blooded vertebrates they are terrestrial or aquatic the body of reptiles is covered with horny scales or bony scutes in reptiles the skin is dry glands are absent in the skin four limbs are present they are pentadactyl pentadactyl means having five fingers so this is kelotis reptile so this is crocodile or reptile they possess four limbs with uh, five fingers okay next characteristic feature respiration is carried on by the lungs the lung cavity of crocodile is separated from rest of the body cavity by a muscular diaphragm in reptiles circulatory system the heart is divided into two auricles and uh, ventricle ventricle is divided into two chambers incompletely incompletely divided ventricle is present okay so not three chamber three and half chambers heart is present here one important uh, characteristic feature of reptiles foramen of peneja foramen of peneja is an aperture in the heart of reptiles and crocodiles it is located at the point where right and left aorta cross each other okay it is uh, located at the point where right and left aorta cross each other and are in contact that is foramen of penige okay it is a snake is a reptile okay what are the animals which are included in the reptiles crocodiles turtles lizards snakes okay next uh, red blood corpuscles are nucleated in reptiles okay jacobson's organ it is also one of the characteristic feature vomero nasal organ it is called jacobson's organ in the roof of buccal cavity concerned with the smell well developed in uh, snakes and lizards jacobson's organ is well developed in snakes and uh, lizards cloaca is present cloaca it is a common opening for excretion of fecal matter and uh, even for laying egg and uh, for the copulation exchange of spermatozoa okay so this cloaca is present the turtles tortoise crocodiles lizards anguis is a limbless lizard snakes poisonous snakes cobra crate most poisonous non poisonous snakes python diplops okay they are blind the tree snake okay variety of snakes so is the turtle the longest life span it possesses more than 100 200 300 years it can survive okay next come to aves aves or birds these are the characterized by the presence of uh, feathers that act as insulator and helps in flight so these are warm blooded 
okay endothermal animals they possess beak four limbs and modified into wings the four limbs of these animals are modified into wings the skin is dry except oil gland present in at the tail the heart is four chambered respiration occurs through lungs uricotelic they excrete uric acid the special voice producing organ is present in uh, these uh, birds that is called syrinx okay so the birds are warm blooded bipedal okay two limbs feather cloud vertebrates feather cloud vertebrates they are also called the bird characters structures okay the bird's body is divisible into head neck trunk and tail in birds four limbs are modified into wings four limb bears three claw clawless digits called uh, wings these wings bear feathers they are useful for flying okay you can see the beautiful bird here okay, the four limbs are modified into wings the body is divided into head uh, neck uh, trunk uh, tail four parts okay next characteristic feature in birds hind limbs are strong and are useful to walk they show four toes okay there are two divisions are there in the birds paleonathe neonathe okay paleonathe neonathe neonathe means uh, flightless birds in birds the wings have no glands except preen glands or oil gland present at the base of tail it secretes a uh, oily substance which keeps the feathers from waterproof okay in birds uh, the skull is monocondylic okay single condyle is present skull so it's a beautiful bird you can see in birds lower jaw is made by five to six bones the syrinx are sound producing organ lies at or near the junction of trachea and bronchi okay near by the trachea and bronchi the syrinx is present in birds only one gland is present in the skin at the base of the short tail that is uh, that gland is called uropegium it is also known as oil or preening gland okay what is that gland present in the tail uropegium or preen gland oil gland in birds bones are spongy and pneumatic it is a characteristic feature because its adaptation is aerial fly in the air okay in order to fulfill that the body is made up of special bones spongy and pneumatic they are light in weight and strong they are useful for flying so here flightless bird neonathe see the two four limb divided into the hind limb very strong next 
in birds uh, the posterior caudal vertebrae will united arm that is a uh, pygostyle united arm a pygostyle it acts as a rudder means change in direction when they are flying during the flying it helps uh, to change the direction of movement what is that uh, structure pygostyle in uh, only flying birds sternum is broad it shows a keel this keel is useful for the attachment of the muscles the clavicle and interclavicle unite to form the v shaped furcula this will keep the wings away okay this is the uh, anatomical features of the birds we are discussing the clavicle and interclavicle unite to form a v shaped furcula so this will keep the bird wings away pigeon are noted for their uh, unique ability to produce a special secretion that is called pigeon milk by crop glands okay digestive gland so example of uh, these birds uh, sparrow crow ostrich parrot eagle vulture okay so many birds even penguins kiwi ostrich emu these four are examples of uh, the flightless birds duck fowls or hen okay turkeys they can fly so small distances okay hope you understood children thank you for watching our video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates